Hey guys, my name's Seth Macklow. Um, I'm taking a quick walkthrough video of my boat here. Uh, I'm gonna be posting it for sale later this afternoon. It is July 25th, it's about three o'clock, out here on the mighty Mississippi. Just wanted to do a quick walkthrough on the, on the boat. I'm gonna be posting it for sale later this afternoon. And uh, just wanted to answer any questions anybody might have and obviously get a hold of me if I don't cover something or, or you have more questions about anything, but um, just start off with the front. Uh, well, first of all, it's a 2011 Sea Arc Pro Cat 200 with a 2013 Suzuki DF175 four stroke. Um, like I said, front of the boat. So for lighting, you got a Southern Light LED Bass Boat Light 2.0, super bright. Um, does everything I could ever want it to do. Uh, next boat I have will have one of them on it too. Um, then we have a Minn Kota Tarova 80 pound thrust. It's iPilot, Bluetooth, uh, the whole nine yards. We're actually spot locked right now in the river. Um, moving back, it's a standard Sea Arc anchor locker. So I've got a big 25 pound anchor, 200 foot of rope, uh, life jackets, and you could fit two or three more anchors in there. I mean, there's plenty of room. You know Sea Arc. Um, and then here's your front live well, empty right now. Usually I keep like cast nets and, and use it for storage. A lot of times I keep my bait in the big live well in the back, but um, works great. Um, then I uh, painted my rails orange. I kind of tried to amp the boat, um, so to speak. Like I've got all my wiring covered up with, with orange. 10 monster rod holder talons, they're all orange. Um, and then, well, this is the star of the show. This is a three quarter enclosure done by American Upholstery out of Lincoln, Missouri. Um, it's about a $4,000 option and this thing is worth every penny. Um, connects to the windshield and I don't have the side curtains in right now, but um, it'll cover the sides, keep you dry and warm in those winter days. Um, so being as this is a 2011, oh, we're marking some good fish actually, uh, being as it's 2011, it doesn't have rod lockers, um, and the consoles actually used to mount right there. You can see I had them cut out and they're now moved all the way forward to the front deck. Um, just like a new protege, um, basically the same layout. And then I've just added a little bit more storage than what a protege would have. So first, the center step here I use for sinker storage. Um, I got some plastic boxes from Menards that hold all my sinkers and then plenty of room for fish grips. And here's the pneumonia hole cover. It covers up right there. So you're really airtight. Um, and then here's the glove box. So this is about the same size as a Plano 3700 box. And I mean, you can stand it up and you could fit 20 of those in here if you wanted to. Um, my pre tied rigs, cooling system, and everybody's got a whisker seeker scale. You can see how small it looks in there. There's a ton of storage in this thing. And then under the consoles, I have them out right now because I cleaned the boat to to take this video, but I keep two totes on either side. Um, I've really got more storage than I need. I find myself packing stuff in here that that's kind of unnecessary. Um, got your standard switch panels. Um, and then there's no Lawrence HDS 16 carbon and then an HDS seven live. Um, they're phenomenal. I actually, if you're interested, we'll work a deal or whatever. I wouldn't mind keeping the units off of it and lowering the price a little bit, but um, that all can be discussed. So also it has some custom cup holders and then the most comfortable seats in the market. The Millennium seats are, are awesome. Um, and then they're sitting on smooth move pedestals. You can hit three, four foot chop in this boat and it doesn't jar you. You just bounce up and down and um, super comfortable ride. Never have another boat without them. Um, like I said, 10 monster rod holders. 
uh, set of multi bars. Uh, I've got a multi bar graph mount as well. Best in the business. Mr. Colton Howe, give him a shout out. Um, live well, That's where the magic happens. So it's an 80 gallon standard Sea Arc live well. Um, I've added, added a uh, pump to one side with a Venturi on it. That's how I keep my shad alive. It creates a current in here. It's got recirc fill and I run a standpipe. And then I run oxygen um, and that'll come with the boat if you want it. I don't have my stone in here right now. I just, I don't travel down the road with it. Fred, it'll break. Um, let's get this pumps going. You see everything works good. Uh, that Venturi adds a lot of oxygen and, and current to the live well. It does really well. Um, then other than that, uh, there's a Noam four speaker Bluetooth stereo with an amp. Uh, it's pretty loud for what it is. Um, you don't have to have it near turned all the way up. You can be running full tilt down the river. You can hear it no problem. Sounds great. Um, I put a mount for a cooler and strap down to the back deck here. It doesn't wobble or anything. I keep, you know, this is just my setup, but I keep baiting one side, drinks in the other, and your cutting board back here. So. When I'm fishing, there's nothing in the floor of this boat. Um, that's the kind of setup I like, and and it works out great. And then there's the Suzuki. Like I said, it's 175. Usually pushes the boat around 41, 42 miles an hour with the tournament load in it. Um, it's not a speed demon, but it's uh, it does okay. Um, anything else? I mean, the stereo amp is down there, fire extinguisher, chargers batteries i mean you know the battery compartment sea arc let's uh let's take her for a spin you guys can see here start up and see how it runs you'll be able to see the the speed in the top left corner of the graph there keep an eye on that Check it out anytime. Thanks for watching.